Steroids, not a good idea? Not a good idea as far as treatment of the disease. It is very helpful early on with somebody who has rampant aggressive disease to help suppress it. When does a patient typically see someone like you? How long have they had symptoms or something that you now look back and you say, well, you think it was here, but actually it was months ago when this probably started. I would guess that most of the time I will see a patient with rheumatoid between six and 18 months after they start. Patients probably are aware they have something going on within a couple of months. And eventually they'll go to their doctor and their doctor will potentially try some things first but they usually are trying things that are helping symptoms. The big bugaboo we find is that the patients get put on steroids because steroids do make patients feel fabulous. They just don't treat anything. They're not treating the disease, so they're masking it. Steroids, not a good idea? Not a good idea as far as treatment of the disease. It is very helpful early on with somebody who has rampant aggressive disease to help suppress it hmm. before these drugs that we use that actually work, because all of them take four, six, eight, ten weeks to kick in. Is there a harm to using steroids long term for the patient? Do, 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 they, do they develop more problems later on even if they feel better in the short term? If that's all they're being treated with, yes, the disease keeps progressing. They're merely suppressing the inflammation. See, the, as, as you know, the inflammation is the end point the autoimmune part is the beginning point. So if you can treat before the immune problem causes a problem, you're better off.